Time to draft, baby. Who aims? I don't think I've ever seen who aims at the 101. We've got me at the 110. Just me and you again, who aims? Me and you again. Lloyd Rowe, good morning, my friend. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Uh, yes, I'm on Underdog as well. I do. Awesome, guys. Guys, I have an Underdog code too. If you guys aren't a part of Underdog, you use code Bayou Bingo. It's a deposit match up to 250 bucks over there. So it's either Bayou Bingo there or you got Bayou Bingo here on Drafters. Both are deposit matchers. And again, guys, if you like custom helmets, I have a link in the description below. Or you guys can use that QR code and it'll help you build a complete, authentic NFL helmet customized to you. That is the picture of my actual custom helmet that I have built. I have it sitting right over there. Um, I actually wear it sometimes on stream. But if you guys want a helmet, that's what that is. Why are you going to do more than McGregor billion dollar walk on us? Look, listen, I'm trying to make some real money. Yeah, facts. <laughs> I would draft with you, but taking July off, so don't blow through my budget. Hey, I get it, cards. Look, I'm going to be here all the way. I, I don't listen. This channel is 24 7, you know, 365 days a year. You know what I mean? We don't take times off here, so I'm here for you. Whenever you do want to come back, I'll be here. Um, we can just get in a $2 one now. I'll do two dollar drafts once. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, they have a new contest for $10. Who does? Oh, you talking about the winner take winner take all? There's a single winner take all draft over there right now. Who hams? I have to go to a meeting shortly, but let's plan to do that maybe on tomorrow. That'd be awesome, guys. Uh, to, tomorrow I work, only work weekends. I got you. Yeah, they have the uh, the ten dollar winner take all draft single entry over there. It's kind of crazy. Guys, just to let you kind of know what we're doing here at the $15 draft here. It's the draft is million three, $2.5 million in prizes, $500,000 in first place. Total points format, which means most points wins. If you score the most points at week one through 17, you win the half a million dollars. 12 team entries, there's both fast and slow. $15 entry and 150 max. If you guys don't know what best ball is, don't worry, I got you, right? Best ball is composed of players from a 20 round draft. Positions drafted are quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. Each week, a starting lineup is populated automatically for you based on who scored the most points in a given week. There's no more start-sit decisions, no more waiver wire, and no more trades. This claw says, yo, what's good? What's good, my friend? How are you? Good to see you. Good morning. How's your day going so far? I'm good on that single winner. I'm not that confident. <laughs> Look at you, man. Look, literal lottery. Yeah, it's a literal lottery. Yeah, winner take all is crazy. I agree. So I'm working now. I got you. Look, I'm always at work in people's drafts, man. That's awesome. Zero chance to do the winner takes all. I could imagine getting a top 10 team. Yeah, that's, it's almost, I don't know. I probably wouldn't do something like that. I just, I don't like that. The odds of winning are very low. All right, we've got Puka. We've got Garrett Wilson. You know we're going Garrett Wilson over Puka. That's our rankings. What player would you want 100% exposure of? Wait, what player would you want 100% exposure to in the first round if you could? Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey, 100% exposure. Give it to me. 100%. It's not even close. I love it when I get the 101. I'm so happy. I've done so many different types of draft with Christian McCaffrey. It's not even funny. So many different types of teams I've done. I've gotten him almost 20 times already in this draft, which is crazy. All right, Garrett Wilson... And Devontae Adams. Let's go. I like it. Wait, who aims? Didn't you start Garrett Wilson and Devontae Adams last round? I like this. I like Nico as well, but I think Nico, literally, they're, they're crowded over there. I don't know how well that's going to go. I think Devontae has a higher, a higher floor than Nico. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wrong. The correct answer is CD Lamb. Hey, I wouldn't be mad at CD Lamb either. I ain't gonna lie. Are you talking at their ADP? If it's their current ADP, Brees. What's this? Betting site or a game? This is. What do you want to call? Do you want to call this a betting site? This is just like the drafting site. So it's not really a game. Well, I guess it's a game too. It's a betting site. It's a game. Pretty much what you do is you come in here and you draft a team, right? It's this right here. It's best ball draft. It's composed, like I was, I was just mentioning earlier, it's composed of 20 rounds. You draft positions, the quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. However they perform in real life is how many points you get. 
and your team's automatically set for you, right? So you don't have to do no start sits. There's like no trades or anything like that. It automatically sets your lineup for you. You just draft your players and how well they do in real life is how they do it. So if you did want to come over and try it out on Drafter, it's just drafters.com and you put money into it, right? This is a $15 draft. You just use code Bayou Bingle. It matches you dollar for dollar for what you put in and come draft with us, man. This call is good to see you though. It's good to see you. It's a lot of fun on drafters. That's what I did. Uh, damn, bro, you talking me into Brees now too? I love Brees Hall, man. Brees Hall's good. I like me some Brees. I saw the other day, somebody took B. John Robinson somewhere around here and Brees Hall fell back to them. They got B. John and Brees. I was pissed. How you get B. John and Brees, man? Best balls, new age crack. Gotta be quiet. Uh, has me wiretap. Yeah, the DEA. Listen, I love best ball. Best ball is so freaking fun. I love it. Please fall to me, Derrick Henry. Please fall. AP, I really like all the top running backs. I feel like they're all undervalued, and I personally don't see the logic going five wide receivers when I believe the later wide receivers aren't as bad as everybody else. Facts. That's why a lot of times I've done some drafts with five wide receivers, but a lot of times I'll go two wide receivers up top and I'll grab my share of either Barkley or Derrick Henry in the third. But I feel like more people are on this Derrick Henry train. I feel like they're more on the Derrick Henry train. Guys, just a reminder to hit the like button to me if you haven't, if you haven't done it yet. So free to hit the like button for me. It definitely helps out the channel. It definitely helps out. Let's see what kind of value falls to us here. We are going to see how it goes. Hmm. This is 88. So yeah, we'll definitely be in the 90s today. That's great. That's great. Wish I could get A-Chain in the 4th? Yeah, we all wish we'd get A-Chain in the 4th. I would definitely feel much better with A-Chain in the 4th. Facts. Complete facts right there. Come on, you already got Bijan or Brees Hall. You don't need Derrick Henry. Please take Michael Pittman or Tank Dell. You want... Okay, Kelsey, I'll take, I'll take Derrick Henry. Appreciate that. I was really wanting to take Kelsey here too. That's okay. I'm not mad at it. Um, we could take a random share of Sam Laporta. We don't really take a lot of Sam Laporta. How much Laporta do I have, guys? Let's look at the, my exposures. Oh, nope, exposure. Player exposures. All right, we'll do this. We'll do Laporta. We have two shares of Laporta. Let's take Laporta if we can. The entire wide receiver avalanche history is they run out and feel bad, but you are banking on your solo running backs to crush it. That's why you're not. Yeah, that, exactly. Let's take some Sam Laporta. I think he fell to us to 39. So let's take Sam Laporta. We don't have a lot of shares of Sam Laporta. We'll take that. We'll take that. Um, Get your H.A. now. He's about to move up late second. Um, Maybe. I mean, if he could stay healthy, I would love him a lot more. He just can't stay healthy. That's true. For season long, you don't want to uh, complete crap at the running back. Exactly. A-Chain uh, getting hyped. Troy. Yes. Uh, that is my name. You good? Are you doing under dra underdog draft after this? Uh, no, not after this. No. I'm going to wait till I max out this tournament before I do some more underdog. But I do do both, uh, River Wayne. I do both um, sites. So, You think so? Watch the wide receiver show on the Netflix. Remind me the Debo ceiling is way higher than I used. I love Debo Samuel this year. I'm uh, not saying I'm right on this, but when with all the running back value pushed down, something is wrong. I like to get my running backs down here. I love it. h had one knee, knee injury. What do you mean? Yeah, that one knee injury left him out of a lot of games. Hold on. Let me prove my point. Let me prove my point. When you got a running back, right? 
in the end of the second round, right? You're spending a high draft capital on somebody. He not only missed one, two, three, four, five, six games. There's also two games when he came back from injury, five carries. He had five snaps. So let's count that one. He had a game here, three snaps. So let's count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games. So eight games out of 17, he has three snaps to zero snaps in a game. Is that something you want? Now I get it. You can get this type of a production, right? He had four 100 yard games, four 100 yard games, and he missed eight games. That's what I mean. One knee injury or not, when you miss time, you're not scoring fantasy points for my team. And if you're taking a second round pick to grab a running back that's not playing, no shot. No shot. If you get two running backs in the first, fifth round, you can't stop at five running backs. You got to take flyers on rookies. Yep. You said doo doo. Didn't doo doo. Uh, we only have a small sample size of these best ball contexts. People are making major assumptions and skewing ADP 100%. Facts. Um, I'm African. I'm clueless, but I want to learn American football. This is the place to do it, Disclaw. This is the place to do it. And you've been a sub to my channel for quite a while, man. I remember your name. So rock and roll with it. But he isn't injury prone. We don't know that. He only played one season. As of right now, from our sample size of what we see, he's injury prone. Um, Crap, I wasn't paying attention. Let's go... Uh, Let's go some Deontay Johnson here. Until he can prove otherwise, I, I have a hard time rocking out a second round pick. You know what I mean? He's fragile. Facts. No one knows everything. It's speculation. I got A-Chain free agent last year. Drafted Mostert. Honestly, I feel like A-Chain is a bust. He'll have this. He'll have a star table. He's got He's got boom weeks. You know, he's got boom weeks where he can do very, very well. Um, Let's go Rashad White here. Oh, I could have took Rasheed Rice. I just said I wanted to take more Rasheed Rice. Balls balls i could have done that with that logic you're not drafting Brees hall i love Brees hall because Brees hall's shown that he can do it Brees hall's a top running back he just he just had one injury season Brees hall wasn't a rookie last year either there's a lot of differences between Brees hall and, and a chain Brees hall's the main running back as well a chain's the second running back. He's not the number one running back. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of things that boost up Brees Hall way more than A chain. You know, Brees Hall isn't isn't the secondary back to anybody. Um, A chain put uh, ten to fifteen pounds. I know he'll still be only one eighty. Yeah, and he could stay healthy for that. Now, like I said, I like A chain. I don't have anything against him. I just know as of right now, I've seen him miss eight games. Not happening. Brees Hall's God. Brees Hall's a beast, man. We're assuming the same strategies to build are going to work year after year, which isn't the case. There's too many variables. Facts. With everything I've said, I do use all the strategy types. Just learn Hero or Robust RV. Quill says Brees is a beast. Yes. It's not even close to what A-Chain. They, they're not even on the same stratosphere. Uh, let's see. I know one thing about fantasy football is I don't know shit about fantasy football. <laughs> But all you said was he can't stay healthy. Exactly. If you're not on the field, you're not scoring points. You're gone for eight, eight weeks as a rookie. We know nothing. And you're a backup running back. No, thank you. No, thank you. Brees Hall has shown us he can be a monster and he is the number one running back for his team. Completely different, man. Again, River Wayne, it's just my opinion, man. Don't take it to the bank. Everyone has opinions. You know what I mean? Everybody does. Everybody does. And one thing that you'll learn if you stick around for this channel is I don't do things based on last year. I have my own thoughts, my own analysis, my own projections. So not everything you hear here will be mainstream. Do you know what I mean? Could I be wrong on a chain? Of course I could be wrong. He could play all 17 games and go crazy. And I would love that. I would love that. I'm just basing on what I, I believe is true. I wouldn't draft a chain in the second round just because he's not playing his size his frame i mean what's the frame based on Brees hall now i'm let's see Brees hall is six foot one a chain's five nine 
I mean, there's so many factors. We can go back and forth between Brees and A-Chain, bro. Like, it's not even close. You got a five foot nine running back who's, who, who missed eight games and is the second running back on his team. That's just what I'm saying. My, my brain's all over the place. Hold on, let me, what are we doing? Where do we even have? Um, We've got more Raiders, more Raiders. We don't want more Raiders. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a share of Aaron Jones here. Let's take a share of Aaron Jones, why not? I just hope half the quarterbacks don't get injured again. Watching that was painful last year. Look, I, yeah, I want everybody to stay healthy, man. I wish nobody got hurt, man. Uh, we all look stupid by the end facts. Nobody knows. You just do the best you can. That's that's the fun of fantasy football. No one knows everything. Gonna get me some of them builds. You're sharp. Okay, let's do this. Where are we at? Um, We're gonna get a share of Curtis Samuel right here because that's what I want to do. I like it. I like it. 18 for the other formats are other than season long total drafters could be a hit. Heck yeah. I really love a chain because even if he misses five games, but he has three 35 point games, it's worth it. Not in this format weekly winners for sure. I am all over a chain. I mean, if you, if you're missing five to eight games, man, that's just points. You're not putting up with a second round pick. Again, it goes to ADP value for me. If you're getting a chain in the fourth round, I'm all over it. But if you, you're telling me your second round pick or early third round pick, you're getting zero points for five of those weeks, it's going to be hard for you to cash money, man. It's just going to be hard for you to cash money. All right. Derek Henry, Rashad White, Aaron Jones with Wilson Adams, Johnson, Samuel with Sam Laporta. I don't completely hate it. That's 60 additional points on the season. There you go. There you go. There you go. I think you proved my point, Humanes. Uh, Humanes. Wow. Humanes. I also draft A-Chain um, teams like he doesn't exist as the starter. Well, that Yeah, that's what I was telling you guys. If I draft A-Chain, I assume he's not on my team. So a lot of teams, you know, if you draft those, you know, a chain and you, you think he's like the number one guy and then you draft as such. And if he gets hurt in your next available running back is Jalen Warren or, you know, whatever, it's just not going to work in this contest. Do you weigh upside over floor? Yes. Uh, ceiling players are way more valuable than floor players. That's why I, was, I had the discussion earlier. Justin Jefferson and Amon Ross St. Brown. Amon Ross St. Brown has a higher floor than Justin Jefferson, but Justin Jefferson has a higher ceiling than, than Amon Ross St. Brown. Justin Jefferson more likely to go out there and throw a 30-point game up there. So I like Jefferson over St. Brown because you want the most points possible in this. You know what I mean? So you definitely want more of a ceiling than, than more of a floor. Interesting. Facts. Okay, focus. Um, where are we going here? I think we could take a share of Tony Pollard here. You know what? No, I want more Brian Robinson. I know he's week 14. I know he's week 14, but I really want, I like Brian Robinson, man. I really do. I think he'll be really good. I think he'll be really good. Hmm. You know what? And it's going to be a little early, but I, I have a feeling that even though he has Josh Allen, he's going to wear to want to pair Amon Ra. And I really want Jared Goff with Sam Laporta. So I'm going to take Jared Goff here because I want to tag up that Goff Laporta combo. I'm okay with that. Um, You nailed that topic too. What topic? 
What what, 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 what we be talking about? Who hames? What what topic am I nailing, sir? Hello, hello, Disco. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're having a great morning, man. I'm assuming you're at work. I'm back. What I miss? Uh, a lot of Devon A Chain talk. Compare, you know, a, a little comparison between A Chain and Brees Hall. Just given the reasons why I don't like A Chain. Do you really think the capital spent on someone like A Chain then? is worth it no i don't if you're just assuming he won't play for four plus games i just no i don't i don't because when he does play i mean we're a, listen how can i get this across when a chain plays there's a very small percentage of him having a good game he's a secondary running back last year he missed eight games and only the games that he played so the nine games that he played he had four 100 yards games. So in four games, he scored great points. In five games, he scored mad points. In eight games, he scored zero points. So I don't know. 13 games, you were disappointed. In 13 games, and in four games, you were happy. For a second round pick, no thank you. Love a quarterback tight end stack. Uh, the ones about uh, Justin Jefferson. Oh, the one about Justin Jefferson and Amon Ross St. Brown? Yeah. Listen, I've got a lot of takes, right? Are they always going to be right? No. Are they always going to be wrong? No. But listen, what you guys tune in here for is not to hear copy pasta, right? You're not going to get copy pasta from me. I have my own thoughts, you know, and Take them or leave them. Some of you are going to agree with, some you won't agree with, but that's okay. That's what the, that's the fun of fantasy football, to have quote-unquote disagreements, but still have respect for one another just because someone doesn't agree with you. You know what I mean? And I respect everybody in here. That's a fact. That is a fact. Um, What do we want to do? What do we want to do? There's no shot at this, but I would love Mike Williams to fall to me. No shot at this, though. Right? Right? Oh! Yes. Now, if we can just hone in Aaron Rodgers, we can have the Garrett Wilson, Mike Williams, and Aaron Rodgers combo. That could be pretty sexy. Assuming we know A-Chain is healthy all 17 weeks, where do you put him? If he's all 17 weeks, I would be okay with an early like third round pick. I would be okay as an early third round pick. Here's fine. Assuming he stays healthy, I'm fine with that. Uh, crap. I wasn't paying attention to what I'm doing. Let's do, uh, let's take some Marshawn Lloyd here. All right. We're done at running back. We're done at running back. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I put in by Gibbs. Interchangeable. Exactly. I would too. And Gibbs, in my opinion, needs to be right here, early third round pick. That's where I have Gibbs. Not based on Gibbs' talent. Gibbs is talented as all get out. My problem with him is that he shares time with, with Montgomery. That's my problem. When they get inside the five, they're putting Montgomery in the lineup, most likely. If Montgomery wasn't there, Gibbs, first round pick. Gibbs is up there with Bijan. And with Brees, 100%. With the situation, I'd put him down here in the third with A-Chain. Oh, well, I have him up there, AP said, the one-two turn. No, because my here's my thing, because when he does get the opportunity to, to play, he's not always giving you good, like, let's just look at it, right? Let's just look at these. Where are we at? We, got, we still got 10 picks away. Let's look at it. You don't think golf would have fallen back to you at 130? No, I don't, Quill. Uh, a lot of times, even though he had Josh Allen, 
people love the Amon Ross St. Brown and um and, and and golf combo. And he had two picks before me, and I just no, I wasn't gonna take the risk. Each draft, in my opinion, should have its own identity, alternative Marvel universe. With each pick, uh, you write the story in a scenario where you draft a chain, you're telling yourself he's gonna be. Yes, that's how I draft all the time, man. You got to. And I do have some A-Chain. I do have, and I'm going to get more. I will get more of Devon A-Chain, 100%. 100%, because if he stays healthy, I'm, I'm rocking and rolling. Are uh, you super out on the committee thing? Didn't A-Chain Mostert prove that it can work last year? Also, Gibbs and Demont. A-Chain Mostert worked? I don't think so. A-Chain Mostert, number one, is a different offense. Number two, A-Chain wasn't what we thought he was, right? Let's... Let me, let me, let me see. Let's see the games he played. Let's not talk about the games that he only had five snaps, three snaps. I'm not talking about that. Let's see. 30 snaps. He killed it. 38 snaps. He killed it. 26 snaps. He killed it. These three weeks is why everyone is high on a chain. Those three weeks are why everyone's high on a chain. Let's go after that. He got all the injuries. He comes back. Let's look at it. He still averaged close to 30 snaps per game. 17 carries, 73 yards, two touchdowns. I'll take it. Seven for 47. Nine for 32. Seven for 24. 14 for 107. Even without a touchdown, I'll take it because he had a receiving touchdown. 10 for 56 and a touchdown. I'll take it. Six for nine yards. You know, so there's just a lot of poop there. So if we take the poop. Hold on. Hold on. I'm finishing. Let me wrap up. Let me cook. Uh... I'll grab Hunter here. I don't know. So if we take that out, right? And let's just count the games that you were disappointed last season. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games. Eight games you were upset. I don't know, man. I don't know. But if he stays healthy, is that more good games or more bad games? Don't know. That's why I'm willing to draft him. Again, it's just my opinion, though. Healthy all season break uh, and break fantasy football. That's just one universe reality. It's important to be contrarian. Facts. Golf is like the perfect second quarter. We're going to go ahead and grab him now. Just in case he doesn't come back. I'm, 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 I'm reaching on both of my quarterbacks to make sure I get my uh, my pairs. Done at quarterback. Done at running back. We're done at, at tight end. Now we just do wide receiver for the rest of the... Of the uh, of the draft. That's a lot of wide receivers we're going to be drafting. A team was round 15 later last year. He was worth the investment last year for sure. Oh yeah. Facts. Facts. In this format, how do you feel about elite quarterbacks unstacked? If they are a rushing quarterback, I'm very high on that. If it's a pocket passer, I would like at least somebody you need to stack it with somebody. If he's a pocket passer, a chain is what you are looking for in a zero running back format. Oh, yeah, last year, yeah. This year, you can't go zero running back and grab A-chain. But, yes, I see what you're saying. Yes, you're right. Facts. Uh, the 10 was 11 points. Was still 11 points. Yeah, yeah, still good. Yeah, still okay. It's not like... like not, I, I can't... I'm trying to get my point across, guys. With, with your second and third round pick, 11 points is not okay, man. It's not okay. It's not okay. Again, what I'm looking for in my running backs is 15 to 18 carries a game. He's getting the workload and getting the opportunity. I'm not going to bank on a running back having a breakaway speed to be successful. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't want out. I don't want that. Right. I mean, look at it. Look at the attempts. He only had over 10 attempts in one, two, three, four, five games. Five games he had over 10 attempts. You know, I I don't know, man. He gets more of the receiving, which is great. I'm glad he gets the receiving, the PPR stuff. What I'm looking for is just more, more of a workload, you know, and somebody who could be on the field. Was crack a leg in the roll, just working, but also making time to say smash those likes for my guy, Bayou Bingo. I appreciate that. I mean, I won't draft A-Chain like a workhorse back in the early rounds. That's what I'm saying. I, I would love A-Chain. And do I need to get more of him? Yes. What are we, uh, where are we at on A-Chain? 
I'm not saying like don't draft him. I'm just saying just be aware, be aware of what you're getting. Right? And don't don't draft him as like a uh as as your main guy. Um I've got six shares of him. You know, I've got a couple shares of him. You know what I mean? I've got some shares of them. You know? These weeks are what you're looking at, though. You want those 50, 27, 21, 25. You want those 23. It's just the, you know, the four, the nine, the one, the one, you know, the six, the four. It's just that that's what that's what kills me. I want more consistency. But yes, he has that ability. Now, if you grab a chain as like a a monster who can give you those beasts. Now, you know what I could have done? I could have grabbed an A-Chain here. Like McCaffrey. McCaffrey, Saquon Barkley, and A-Chain. Oh, we could try that. Because then I'm okay. A-Chain's your third running back. I'll take it. We need to try to build something like that for sure. That will be fun. Are you winning this claw? We won't know if we're winning until after the NFL season. So it takes a while. This isn't a uh, like a game you play and you get instant gratification for. You know what I mean? Um, should we just go all jets? Yo, we're going full stack, full jet stack here. Full jets. We're not getting the tight end, but we're going to get Malachi Corley, Mike Williams, and Garrett Wilson with Aaron Rodgers. This is a team that we're banking on the jets offense to be a beast. DJ Quill heading to my meeting. See y'all later. Thank you so much. Uh, Quill. Thank you for uh, coming here and, and, and talking with us, man. He may end up and said a lot of slot formation is the news. Again, I'm hoping he stays healthy. Uh, Jerry, how you doing, Jerry? Good to see you. Let's do uh let's do Javon Baker. Let's do Javon Baker here. Um, this is gonna be a two five eleven two. Is that what we're doing? Or should we get another quarterback? Let's look at the quarterbacks, guys. We should have grabbed we should have grabbed Levis or something for a third quarterback. All right, if he comes back to us, well, we have Javon Baker. I have no shares of Drake May. I have no shares of Drake May. Should we try to target Drake? We could. We could try to target some Drake May, actually. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. We need to remember he was a rookie last year, too. Facts. Facts. And I hope, um, River Wayne, are you still here? I hope you didn't, um, I hope you didn't get upset, right? We like to have good conversations here, but nobody's, um, nobody's saying somebody's wrong or anything. And I'm not upset if you're asking questions and challenging things that I say. So I hope you're still around and didn't run off or anything, but, uh, but you know, you do you boo boo later. Quill who Hames says later, will you stream college football 25? I don't, I don't play those video games, man. So no, I won't be streaming that. I like May and Dynasty. I kind of like him in late and redraft. Drake for the W. I have none of Drake, so I could do that. I could do that. Uh, two, three, and two. So I'll wait for the comeback here. I don't think any of them have... Oh, he has Hunter Henry. Oh, I have Hunter Henry. Son of a bitch. Oh. <laughs> I got Baker and Hunter Henry. I didn't realize that. I'm definitely getting Drake May. I'll get him here at 207. Uh, center point is the workhorse running back is gone and you draft for spike weeks. Counterpoint is the is the workhorse running back is gone and you draft for spike weeks. I don't know if that's a question or a statement, but yes, I agree. Especially when you already have two quarterbacks ahead of him. Drake May is a W pick. Facts. I like it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Surprise you don't have any May with your Javon Baker exposure. Well, just because I think Javon Baker is going to be the number one wide receiver, I don't expect Javon Baker to be a beast. And even if he was a beast with 1,400 yards receiving, that doesn't mean Drake, you know, Drake May with 1,400 yards passing and eight touchdowns ain't going to get it done. You know what I mean? Um, Let's go with some Greg Dortch here. I got 20% Drake, not being a homer at all. Holy, Baker to the moon. I agree, Sleaze. Let's go ahead and get our first 
share of Drake May here. Unless somebody smashes him from me. And if you do, your mom's a hoe. Just throwing it out there. Javon Baker on the outside looking in right now. Yeah. And we're going to be wrapping up this stream, guys. This will be our last. And then we're going to be heading out. Jalen Rager to be decent. Since when? Drake May. Boom. I got a share of Drake May. I'll take it. We're in the draft here with uh, with two more wide receivers. When will Jalen Rager ever be decent, Jerry? Appreciate all you guys who hung out with me this morning as well. Really means a lot to me. Thank y'all. We got to be doing some more content. Holy, four quarterbacks, dude. Do you really need four quarterbacks? Let's see what's falling. Guys, again, we'll be live tonight at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, guys. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be live again doing more drafts. Can't wait for camp to start. I need some news. AP, I'm right there with you, man. I'm right there with you. But yeah, if you guys want to draft with me tonight, I'll be on at 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central. I'm actually going to set my alarm to make sure I don't miss that. I want to go live before Disco does. That way we can kind of get the community together, have some fun, and then pass it along to Disco and have fun in his chat. And I hope I get a chance to draft with, uh, with, with his community as well. Okay. Coming back to us. Let's see. What, I mean, we'll grab Rondo Moore if he's there. Khalif Raymond if he's there. I'm cool with that. Um, actually, I would like Khalif Raymond over Moore because I have more Detroit. So I'll take that. Elijah Moore is fine. We could do some Xavier Gibson just with a correlation. Brandon Rice, Calvin Austin. I think we're fine. We don't need that many. Um, yeah, we'll do it like this. This is our order of what we want. I'm cool with that. I would like Khalif though. With we could have a Jared Goff, Khalif Raymond uh, alongside Sam Laporta. That's cool. I think we'll get him. That's good. I'll take it. We'll take Khalif Raymond there, and then we'll take one of these guys on the way back. Or should we? Yeah, let's just go correlation. Let's take. Let's go Xavier Gibson. I'm I'm cool with that. We literally have everybody. We're gonna have Malachi Corley, Mike Williams, Garrett Wilson, and Xavier Gibson. So no matter who he throws it to, unless it's Conklin, we're probably getting double points. I just did the same exact thing last draft. Oh, did you? I didn't even notice the, the draft is. Is that what you did? That's crazy. Did you grab um Aaron Rodgers too or no? Grab Gibson there. Let me look at what you did last draft, actually. I'm curious. Let's go look and see what Hames did last draft, y'all. Oh, no, I had Rodgers. Wait, what? No, this is a draft I did last night. Hold on. The draft's not done yet because it, we're not, it's not finished, so... This one. You had literally have golf Rogers with <laughs> Garrett Devante. Really? Is there a team that would give Michael Thomas relevance here on drafters? If we go, if he, go, yeah, the, I think he's going to go to the chiefs. I think he'd have relevance on the chiefs for sure. Bro. You had Laporta too. And Khalif, bro. We had the same team almost different running backs. Oh wait, you didn't have Rogers broski. You didn't have Rodgers. You had Golf, Geno Smith, and Derek Carr. Yeah. 
I think I'll sign with the Chiefs or the Broncos, though. Michael Wilson.